Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have an amazing video for you. In this video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be showing you guys all the new features of One UI 5.0 for Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So here I have One UI 5.0 with Android 13 running on a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I'm gonna go into my About Phone, gonna go into my Software Information. You can see we have One UI version 5.0 Android version 13 and right off the bat something brand new when I go into my about phone now I have a photo of the actual phone right over there that's the S22 Ultra and it also happens to reflect the color of my phone which is great now let's dive in and look at some brand new features the very first thing I want to talk about is if you pinch the screen and if you go into wallpaper and style now when you go to color palette, you're gonna have many more options than just the basic options you get on the 4.0. So look at this. Over here we have the color palette options and I can scroll over and I have four times four, 16 different color options I can pick and customize my phone with, okay? Previously we only had four options. So now we have 16 options as you can see. So that's fantastic. Now the next thing I want to talk about is actually one of my favorites. If I scroll over, if you have widgets of the same size, so for example, this widget right here looks smaller than this one, but they're the same size. So if I press and hold, you see that's the area for that widget. And then if I press and hold, that's the area for that widget. What I can do is if they're of the same size, I can simply drag one over the other and turn it into a stackable widget. Now, I can swipe through those two widgets as you can see. And I can do this with as many widgets that I want. And of course, you can press and hold and you can edit the stack anytime that you want as you can see, okay? So the whole thing is customizable even after you create that. That's fantastic. Now, one great feature in relation to the camera is when you launch the camera, and if you tap on the settings, now you have this option that says watermark. When you go inside, this gives you the option to add a custom watermark onto your photos. You can turn this off, you're not gonna see the watermark, or turn on and see the watermark. You can even customize that watermark to whatever that you want. You could have your device's name, your name, or you can have date and time, as you can see, you can add that on top of your watermark or you can do just one or both. Fantastic. Change the uh, font, as you can see, and also change the alignment, as you can see. So for example, I just took a photo earlier uh, of just a computer over here, and at the bottom, I've got my watermark. You can see it says Saki. Okay, so that's gonna be automatic and fully customizable as you just saw right here. All right, fantastic. Let's move on. The icons in the notification panel have also slightly changed. So when I pull this thing down, you're gonna see the icons here are now larger for easy identification of what's happening. And if I go in here, and when I tap on this button here, there's a new option here that says active apps. So when I tap on active apps, here's the description I get. These apps are running in the background. If they remain active for a long time, they may affect battery life they will appear here, and then you can properly manage them, maybe close them down or whatever, okay? So active apps, also new. Next thing has to do with your phone. So I'm gonna launch my phone, and let's say there's a contact that you wanna customize. Now you can have a unique call background for each contact. So I'm gonna go to this one right here. At the bottom, I'm gonna tap on edit. Once I do that, I can tap on view more, and then I can go all the way down and you have call background, as you can see, unique to that particular contact. And you can pick any one of these available backgrounds. And of course, that's not the whole thing. You can click on plus and add specific backgrounds to specific contacts. You can do that from the gallery or from your AR Emoji Studio. So that's another new thing, individual call backgrounds, for individual contacts. Another great feature is when you pull in the edge panels, you can now show the names of the apps under the icon 
Previously, you couldn't. So for this option, you go to Settings, you go into your Display, you go down to Edge Panels, as you can see, and when you go into the panels, and if you click Edit on the Apps panel, you're going to see this option on the top. Tap, look at this, Show App Names. You can enable or disable. Look how it looks. If you disable, the app names disappear. If you enable, they appear. That is a brand new option. Let's move on. Now, another great feature, you can extract text from any image just by tapping on it. So I'm going to tap on gallery. Here's a photo I downloaded from the internet. It just has text on it. If I were to press and hold on any portion of that text, it is going to actually allow me to now select that text, copy or share or select all, and then copy and share. So I can copy the text straight from a photo, and it could be anything. It could be a menu photo that you took at a restaurant, photo of a phone number that you took. If you take that, then you can e easily extract the phone number and even make a call directly from there. So brand new extraction tactic. Now, one more thing that we have, which is pretty cool, nothing major but cool, is if you go to sounds and vibration, if you go to ringtone, they do have a brand new ringtone here. They had the Over the Horizon and the Voyage, which is Samsung branded. Now you have Over the Horizon by Suga of BTS Band. Very popular band, and it does sound very nice. I don't want to click it just in case it gets me a copyright strike by mistake. So it is a great sounding new ringtone for the phone. Next thing that we have is if you go to settings, right away you're going to see under connections, brand new menu item, connected devices, you tap on it. And basically, this is an accumulation of all the options that relate to connected devices. Uh, could be people you're sharing stuff with, could be your buds, could be your tablet, could be your computer, Samsung Dex, Smart View, that's a TV, and then Smart Things and Android Auto. So the connected devices are going to appear in this menu to make it much more easily manageable. Now, if you go into Advanced Features, and if you go into Bixby Routines, now under Discover, the whole thing has been revamped and made into this. Previously, it looks a little bit different. This is much more cleaner. Everything is nice and organized. For example, battery-related settings are going to be under here, okay, that pertain to Bixby Routines, useful stuff, all the routines, adaptive routines, they're going to be here. That's fantastic. There's other under-the-hood improvements, too, on the Bixby routines that make them much faster and more efficient. Now, when I launch my camera again, and if I go into my pro video or pro photo mode, there's something here that is very useful. So there's all these settings at the bottom. Some people don't know what they are. Not everybody is a camera buff. So here's what happens. When you tap on a particular setting, you're going to see a little symbol, I. You can click on it. And that's going to describe what that setting is all about. So it's a little help menu. So if I tap here, look at that. It says speed, EV, focus. I can X out of it or I can tap on it and it's going to show me the whole thing again. Whatever I tap on, I can tap on I, get some info. Works in pro video mode and the pro mode. Now if I go to my settings over here and if I go all the way down to security uh, right here, not down actually, right here, you're going to see the whole thing has changed, and if there's any security-related problems, they're going to appear right here. It's going to say, Issue Found, and you're going to see a description at the bottom, and it's going to describe what that problem is. And also, if you scroll down, the menu has been revamped, cleaned up, and better organized. Fantastic. Now, two things I cannot show you, but they're supposed to be in the uh, change log probably going to come up with additional beta updates. Uh, you do have the option now to, if you go here, and if you go to your memory, you can actually turn off the RAM Plus option, okay? If you don't want to use it, you can turn it off. It doesn't seem to be available right now, but that's going to be another option that's coming. And one more thing with the device care is now you're going to have an option that gives you the battery health. You cannot see it right away, but if there was any problem with your battery's health, you're going to see the option here, 
and they're going to make a recommendation to change the battery. Normally, you have to go to Samsung Members Applications uh, for Diagnostics and tap on Battery Status, and it shows the battery health, which is normal, which is good. But, but it's also going to appear here if there's any problems in the future. And the last thing I want to talk about is, again, if you go to Settings, under Digital Wellbeing that I never used, to be honest, uh, it's been slightly redesigned, and you have this option here that allows you to set a goal. Under keyboard, there's also a whole bunch of new emojis and emoji stuff that I don't really care about, but you do get some 80 plus more emojis, I think, in the Samsung keyboard. Now that's it for now. That's all the features I was able to squeeze out. Many things that are listed in the change log are hard to demonstrate because they're not here yet or they're app specific and haven't been updated yet. So we'll talk about those when they are available. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?